Welcome back to Comfy Chair Gaming. My name is Chris, and this is my 7 Days to Die Beginner's Guide. This is for someone who maybe you've been watching people on YouTube and you think, hey, I want to play this game, this looks like fun, but you're really not sure how to start. Well, this is going to be my guide for you. This is just my way that I start the game. This is in no way and all in all intents and you, you, can't, you have to follow this. You can do however you want. This is just how I get started. I'm going to be trying to cover both the mouse and keyboard and a controller version of this because I know that some people hate mouse and keyboard, some people hate controller. So this is going to be kind of a, a both both coverment if I can. Uh, it's going to be kind of confusing. I might forget some things, but anyways, click on some new game. This is going to be my tutorials. You can name it whatever you like. We're going to be in Navis game, which is going to be your, your basic world. In the general settings or any other setting that's in here, if it is gray or white, it is default. If it is yellow, it is not default. So it's not listed. It's only one player. This is just me showing people how to do the game. So basic stuff right here. Keep it all default. Advanced. Don't mess with this in case you unless you really want to. And multiplayer. This is for people who are playing with multiple people. We're going to hit start. And we're going to get right into it. When you first spawn in, you're going to have two pop-ups that come up. Basically, it's going to be some very basic background on what happens in the game. If you want to read those, feel free to either back up and pause it, or when you start your own game, you can read them if you like. So after those two boxes pick up, you can either hit escape to escape on the keyboard, or B, you can clear those out, or you can click continue with whichever one you want. The top right is going to be your current objectives. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> current objectives, you're going to have craft a bedroll. So we have... Some things we need to grab. We need to grab some plant fibers. So these are your plant fibers right here. These are your plant fibers. This right here will give you wood. It will not give you any plant fibers. Over here you have cotton. It will not give you plant fibers. It just gives you cotton. You have chrysanthemum. And you also have goldenrod and some other stuff as well. Those do not give you plant fibers. They will only give you uh, whatever they are. So... Once you get enough plant fibers, it'll tell you, and it'll also have that sound effect in the top, on the top right, that'll show you, craft a bedroll. Go into your inventory by hitting tab or X on the controller. Use your uh, mouse to select that, or if you want to use your left stick, I have my thing set up too. To select it, hit A on the, on the controller, or just left mouse on your key, uh, left mouse button. Sorry, I'm kind of like trying to jump back and forth here. <laughs> To do a quick craft, hit up on the D-pad on your controller. That is going to put it right into your inventory. From your inventory, come over it with your controller. You can hit R3. You can also shift and left mouse button. And you can switch it back and forth easily. With all this stuff right here, same stuff. Boom. I always put this right here. To move things between these on your own, just hold down your left mouse button or... Just click it with uh, with A, bring it down, click it again, boom, boom, and boom. Done and done. With that out of the way, next thing we need to do is place it. So with it selected on your hotbar, if you want to change things on your hotbar fast, if you have a mouse, just scroll your mouse wheel. If you go up, it'll go to the left, and if you go down, it'll go to the right. If you want to do this on your controller, hit left mouse button to the left to go left it'll go one space with each click or right with each click to place it with the controller hit the left trigger if you want to pick it up push y to do this with the mouse and keyboard hit the right mouse button to put it down and an e to pick it up one thing i forgot to mention is when you first go into one of these and let's say you want to craft a frame or the bedroll. We'll say what you want to craft a bedroll. In the middle, this little box right here, I'll use the mouse for this part. In this part right here, it's going to have you have what you're trying to craft, have an icon of it, what it takes to build it, and if you have like the correct count. So I need, right now I have zero of 10. I need 10 plant fibers to craft that. Up on the D-pad is your quick crafting. W on the mouse or keyboard is how you have a quick craft. I would highly recommend getting used to doing the quick crafting because if you have to do like say for this shape right here clicking craft or whatever it's just going to get it's just too much time but if you hit the w key or if you hit up on the d-pad it's just going to help you a lot faster next we are going to move into crafting a stone axe up in the top right 
I have craft a stone X, gather plant fibers, zero of two, wood, two of two, small stone, zero of two. As I'm looking around here, you have this icon right here. It's going to be like a hammer and looks like some blocks or whatever. You can walk up to it, hit E or Y on the controller. So now I have enough. Once you have enough of it, it is going to stop flagging it. After that, you have to just kind of know where to find these things or how to find them. When you need some more plant fibers, just punch it. Punch this, punch this. Find another stone. You can pick up stones, you can pick up rocks, you can pick up anything you want. You do not have an encumbrance thing, but you do have limited mobility or limited space at first. It's going to drain your stamina, so I guess you kind of do have one, so I, my apologies on that one. So again, you're going to come up here, you're going to hit A to select it with your controller, or you're going to just click it with your left mouse button, hit W to craft it, get your quick craft, and then come down to here, hold shift, left mouse button, boom. Or come down here, R3, boom. So click your right stick, bring it right down there. I don't want these right now. Actually, I'm going to hang on to those. I need those. That, I don't need it up here right now. Okay, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of our inventory by hitting B or tab. It'll bring you right out. We need more plant fibers. So I recommend just punching your plant fibers since you don't really need to use your axe to harvest plant fibers. It doesn't really do much for you. Grab a lot of these. Grab some wood too. Hit tab or X to go into your inventory. Click it. Quick craft. Or if you have your controller, A. Up on the D-pad, quick craft. If you want to equip it, click it, hit W, or this one, oop, wrong button. Uh, y on here, we'll select it, and then up on the D-pad, we'll put it on. Next thing we have to do is craft a wooden club. We're going to find the wood that we need. We have 14 out of 5, so we have enough to craft it. We can hit W for our craft button. Boom. I like to move that right there. Hold shift, left mouse button, put it on your hotbar. Okay, for this one, crafting a bow and arrows. You have to run around, find the wood you need. I have enough wood, so that thing disappeared. Now it's going to show me a bird nest. Bird nest, you can open those up, hit E or Y. With this one, you can either hit R on your keyboard, or what is it with this one? I think it's L on this one. Let me uh, try to find another one. Do, do, do. Okay. That one and L will take everything. So you hit L3, so your left stick. L3 will, will collect or grab everything that is in whatever thing, whatever you are looking in, whether it be a nest or this backpack over here or whatever. As long as you have space in your inventory, it will grab everything and put it right into your inventory. Another thing I forgot to mention is if you destroy the nest, you get a little bit of XP, a little plant fibers, and more importantly, you get a few more feathers. So hold up, run up to it, hold down left mouse button, or if you are on the controller, it is right trigger. Boom, like a so, like a so. I will cover these more in depth a little bit later, but in the beginning of the game, when you have your axe, you're gonna need a lot of wood. So before we actually craft the bow and arrows, we're gonna take down this thing. This is a stump. Inside the stump, you might be able to find honey early game. Might. I did not. Hence the might. <laughs> Go into your inventory. We have our yellow exclamation point, which is gonna tell you, hey, this is your current objective so far. So we're going to select it with A, craft it. Now, I don't know how to do this with, with the controller, but for mouse and keyboard, if you hold down shift and you click this, it's going to give you the option to make as many as you can with however many resources you have in your inventory. If you want to do the same thing, you have to click this guy right here or select this guy right here with your controller. And then W to craft all of those. Shift click to put just your bow on your toolbar. You do not need to have your arrows on your toolbar. It'll just do it on its own. To knock an arrow, hit left mouse button, or, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> to knock an arrow, you hit left mouse button, or you just, you know, do that. Sometimes you, or 
by that I mean right trigger to shoot it. We'll cover shooting and all that stuff later. I'm not really worried about that at the moment. To start a base, we have to put down a block. To put down a block, we need a frame shape. We only need one for right now. If this was a situation where we needed a lot of them, we could shift click it, get all 14, or we could just hit this guy right here, does the same thing. You can click craft if you would like to. I'm just gonna, I'll click craft, sure, why not? Click craft if you would like to, again, R3, oops. R3 or shift, shift left mouse button to put it onto your toolbar, get out of your inventory. Select this on your hotbar, either with your mouse wheel or your left or right bumpers. Place it with right mouse button. Now the part that threw everybody off to include myself when I first started this is in order to upgrade this, you have to, well, there's one of two things you can do. You can do it wrong, which I think I'm about to do because I'm, I'm trying to show you with the controller first. I think it's, okay. So left trigger, you're gonna hear that that sound. That's a good sound if you want to upgrade because then you'll hear this one. And when you hear that and you see it, obviously that's what goes up. If you hear this, you're hitting it. You don't want to hit it. That's further upgrading. We'll cover that in a later tutorial. Got our stone. Pick you up. Need to grab more stones. You can do three things here. You can either pick up your small stones here, find a giant boulder and smack into it, or you can find these guys right here. A good source of stone early on in the game. We only need five of these, but I'm going to keep going so I can try to make some more arrows also. But not that I really need to. We'll search things and we'll go through all this stuff later. We don't need to worry about uh, any of that kind of stuff right now. I'm just trying to show the basic get through the first stuff. So again, hop into your inventory by hitting X or your tab key if you need to. That one. Again, up on the D-pad. Make yourself one of those. R3 or shift shift left mouse button to put it on your inventory back out select it and I think it's left trigger yeah left trigger will place it if you're using controller or right mouse but right mouse button if you are using your mouse so that is how we get through our very basic welcome to seven days to die things after that you open up a trader route we will cover that in a later video in the next video, I'm actually going to go over the perks system and the where'd it go? The perks and point system. Since you get four points after you complete this one, it's only logical to do these before you go off and gallivant across the world. So in the next video, we're going to go over those. And for now, I will see you. Well, I'll see you in the next one. I'm just going to record these back to back. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.